Be afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Be very afraid. The next pandemic on the horizon, the dreaded Zika virus. This is what Big Pharma wants you to know. This is what the American Medical Association wants you to believe. This is what contemporary medical doctors are doling out by way of misinformation. Now, look, maybe this will, in point of fact, over time, turn into a big deal. I doubt it very much. Obama wants to give a billion dollars to research about it. Well, why on earth would you give a billion dollars of research money to the medical profession that has failed us when it comes to malaria? They failed us when it comes to chikungunya, another similar uh, mosquito-borne viral illness. Why would we give the people research money who have failed us when it comes to virtually every other illness in the world? We don't have a free medical market here in the 21st century. We haven't since the early 1900s. The medical industry is owned by the pharmaceutical industry and the MDs. The research money that is spent goes not to medical research, but to allopathic reductionistic medical research. While we have given these people complete unbridled care and control over the research and the delivery of medicine, here in the not-so-free world, obesity has skyrocketed. Alzheimer's has skyrocketed. Autism has skyrocketed. Type 2 diabetes has skyrocketed. Arthritis has skyrocketed. Life expectancy has gotten shorter. Not a cure for cancer anywhere in sight. But yes, let's give these people a billion dollars to figure out how to cure the Zika virus. I think it's a fool's errand. Inquiring minds would inquire, well, let's follow the money and see where that goes. My position, they're up to something. They're up to something. They're drumming up something. Do not trust the people in the white coats, not because they're bad people, but because under their care, the leading cause of death in the United States is their therapeutics, and the leading cause of bankruptcy is their therapeutics. These people are the wrong dog for the hunt. Why don't we talk to people like Isaac Golden, who completed a homeopathic vaccination program in Puerto Rico, which had over a 95% success rate against chikungunya? Why don't we talk to him? Why don't we give the people who are actually producing results the money? because we don't have a free medical market, that's why. We haven't had a free mar medical market for 100 years. And we have been socialized to, into believing that when it comes to medicine, the only people that hold the secret decoder ring are the MDs. And even though their therapeutics have failed us, even though their therapeutics have harmed us, even though their therapeutics have bankrupted us and killed us, we still keep going back to the same dry well. Time will tell whether or not this Zika virus scare turns into a real thing. Even if it does, the last person you want to go to for advice about how to deal with it is anybody with an MD after their name. You want to really educate yourself about vaccinations? You want to get an open-minded, science-based, clinically verified understanding, non-pharmaceutical centrist understanding of vaccinations? Go to my website, drglidden.com, become a Dr. Glidden advocate. I produced a three-part video series outlining everything you need to know and weren't told by conventional medical doctors about vaccines. Remember, it's not the drug, it's how it's used. It's not the gun, it's how it's used. Thank God for Novocaine. Thank God for the mattress stitch. And thank God for the sterile technique. There are some things that the MDs got right, but when it comes to insect-borne diseases, they are the wrong dog for the hunt. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen. Inform yourself right now about the unheralded positive effects of science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition. I am your steadfast advocate for health, Dr. Peter Glidden. See you.